So I am sitting in the parking lot at my current work and I have put in my resignation notice. I thought about it pretty long and hard, but it was mostly just a, I'm a very logical way things out type of person, but if there's one thing I've learned is sometimes you really do just gotta trust your gut. If there's anything I've learned in life is that if you stay on a sinking ship, and it's not like the company's a sinking ship, it's just sometimes you're just a, a square peg in a round hole, you know, or for me it's actually the opposite. Um, it's weird, I was sitting there at my desk and there were some guys behind me. I was like, God, am I, am I really gonna give up this security? Because I mean, I make decent money, right? Like all, all my stuff, I get paid twice a month. Everything, all my bills and more get cleared with one check and the other check just goes right into my savings account. Which has granted me the luxury to just up and say, you know, I'm, I'm good. Um, so you could really build a good financial future off of it, but at the end of the day, man, we're, you know, we're going to all just not be here at one point. And when you're punching a clock, that's, you know, a third of your life. You're just spent doing a third of your life that you're never going to get back. You're just doing something that you just absolutely do not want to do. And with so much opportunity in the world, with so many things, with so many different parts moving, there has to be things that you want to do. So I have two more days left. I'm leaving right now. I still got some sick time that I'm burning through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was sitting there. And these guys, so the industry I work in, it's, it's aviation technically, but like airplane maintenance, yada, yada, like big so the air the the program that i work on it's not completely top secret but it's uh basically you're not stepping foot on this plane anytime soon okay it's not quite air force one but it's it's there it travels with air force one and uh the whole point of this plane is that if anybody ever lets off a nuke this plane can give the command to like submarines and shit to retaliate if everything else is down it's basically a communications plane um and so I work with just a lot of, you know, we're in the heart of Texas, which I moved out here from Seattle to get away from all the, you know, latte drinking, yada, yada. But, you know, sometimes you just, you know, these guys probably think I'm gay or something, but I just don't like if I got to hear one more person talking about, yeah, I'd take my lawnmower apart and put in, pay, get these little things and throw it's like, dude, we're fiddle fucking with this airplane all day, and then you guys go home and want to fiddle fuck. Like, I get it if that's your thing. It's just not my thing. Like, just fiddle fucking with the airplane alone is crazy to me. Crazy boring. Like, I would rather there, things been things have been down and we've been sitting on our ass. But for me, sitting on my ass is just as entertaining as actually doing my job, and that's a big red flag for me. But I was listening to these guys behind me talk about God. I don't even know what just talking about tools and I was like dude I gotta go I can't be around this anymore um, so I guess the point of this video is I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do next I have a couple ideas but we're just throwing caution into the wind baby we're just going for it we're just sending it so to all of y'all out there thinking about quitting your jobs I can tell you this I've only ever just quit one other job and it led to way better things in my life. Actually, no, I've quit two jobs. Yeah, I was working this finance job one time too. And I would find myself, I would just have to get off my desk and just go walk around the building. And if I wasn't on the phone, I wasn't making money. So I'm like, what am I, what am I doing here? I don't want to do this. I don't want to talk to these people on the phone. I don't want to talk people into refinancing something that they think they're getting this great deal, but they end up spending more money over time or whatever. Um, I just think there's so much opportunity there if you're really doing something that you really hate and you've made good enough decisions and you don't, you aren't, I don't have a wife and kids, so it's easy for me to say, but, um, one of the best things I've ever done is get into Dave Ramsey when I, like, five years ago, 
I mean, I've, I've surpassed financially, like I've surpassed that. I'm not going to say I've surpassed Dave Ramsey's mindset, but just the, the, like the debt snowball and putting away six months reserve fund and all that and just not buying shit I don't need, trying to fill a void. You know, it's driving, I mean, I, I'm driving a Ford Escape right now with like 100,000 miles. I could get a better car, but if I had a car payment, I wouldn't be able to just say, you know what, I'm over this job and walk out and be like, you know, I have, I have time to figure out something else and make sure I take a position I actually want to take. So if you really hate your job, get your finances in order and to just do it, dude.